Hello students. Today let us learn about Taylor's principle of gauging. So according to Taylor, go and no go gauges should be designed to check maximum and minimum material limits. So so here you can see that there is a go snap gauge and here there is a no go snap gauge and the tolerance is measured and they have given the upper limit for the tolerance and there is a lower limit for the tolerance. So even in this figure there is a lower limit and upper limit for tolerance in the shaft and there are no go plug gauge and go plug gauge attached here. So how do we check this maximum and minimum material limit? So first one let us take the go limit. So this go limit is applied to that limit of the two limits of size which corresponds to the maximum material limit consideration. It is the upper limit of the shaft and lower limit of the hole. So go limit is applied to the maximum material limit consideration. So we have to consider the maximum material limit consideration for go gauge. So what is the maximum material condition? It is the upper limit of the shaft and the lower limit of the hole. So the go gauge should have a full form that is it should check both the shape and the size as well. So the next is the no go limit. So this designation or this limit is applied to that limit of the two limits of size which corresponds to the minimum material condition. It is the lower limit of the shaft and the upper limit of the hole. It is the opposite feature of the go limit. So no go gauge is used to check only one part of the feature of a component at a time. So specific discrepancies in the shape or size can be detected. So this no go gauge is required for so a separate no go gauge is required for each different individual dimensions. So now if we take the example. So in this figure the go gauge must check the dimension as well as the form that is the perpendicularity of the shaft at a time. Hence the go gauge must be as shown in the figure in this diagram. So this is the go gauge. It has to check both the dimension as well as the perpendicularity of this slot. So this slot. So it must be of this shape. So this is to check both dimension and perpendicularity of the slot. So in the next figure a no go gauge must take the dimension of the slot at one time and hence two separate gauges must be Use. So, no go gauge is checking only the dimension of a slot at one time. So, there are two no go gauges here, one and two. So, we have to use two no go gauges for checking the dimension that is the height and the width. So, in this figure, 
see if a single gauge as shown is used then the gauge is likely to pass the component even if one of the dimension is less so what happens why we cannot use a single no go gauge for checking the dimensions because this gauge will pass through the component even if one dimension is less than the desired limit because it gets struck due to the other dimensions which are within correct limit so this no go gauge cannot be used for checking multiple dimensions at a time what will happen it will pass through this slot even if one of the dimension is less than the desired limit This is about the Taylor's principle for gauging.